Hello. In this video, I will show you how to connect your phone to the Levoit Core 200S air purifier. For this, we will need the VSync application. I have already downloaded it so that I don't have to download it now when I'm filming. You have to create an account like with any other application, and after you enter it, this interface will appear. If you don't have any Levoit devices, you will now have to add the Levoit Core 200S purifier. First, I will connect to the Wi-Fi in my house because I have to be on the same 2.4 GHz network as our purifier. I will plug the purifier into the outlet and turn it on. We see that the Wi-Fi LED is not on, so in the application I will give it Add Device. In the application we have a lot of things to choose from, so I will choose Air Quality. I'm going to look for Levoit Core 200 series. And it asks me to turn on Bluetooth. At this moment, it is on sleep mode, so I'm going to do what it asks me to do. I'm going to hold down the power button for five seconds. Now, the Wi-Fi LED has turned on and shows me on my phone that it's trying to connect. I'm going to choose the Wi-Fi network that the phone is connected to. Something didn't work. I probably didn't enter the password correctly. I'll try again. This time it worked very quickly. We can choose where to put it. And we can give it a name. It already tells me that there is a firmware update for it. I'll do it now, because I can't go any further than this step. It took about one minute, so I entered the application. This is what the interface looks like. I was very, very curious about one thing. If he knows that I used the device for two weeks without installing the application. And hey, he knows, filter life is at 97%. So we couldn't fool him. From this application, we can make a few settings, not very many because the purifier doesn't have a dust sensor. We won't know the PM 2.5 level or the allergen level. We won't be able to leave it on auto mode and have it turn on when the air is polluted, also because it doesn't have that sensor. From here, we will turn it on and we will be able to choose the modes. We can set a program for it to turn on or off. And a timer for it to turn off. That's about all you can do. What do you think of the application? Useful or not? Can you do without it? Write your opinions in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, all the best.